Here's the deal, everybody. Rosie Perez is my very first celebrity guest on Talk Stoop. Your accent when you're out and speaking is, is really toned down. To hear this woman at a dinner party oh, tell a story. Story. Oh, yeah. my God. We had a little supper club going after we first met with some other friends. And uh, you were here telling some story, and you had us screaming. You were doing your cousin. <laughs> you just gave my secret away. People think, like, oh, you've grown out of your accent. I said, Crap. yes, I have. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> She has not. In fact, <laughs> it's so good. I mean, you just add one glass of wine and it really like flows. I That's love true. That's it. That's true. Thank you. So if, if your cousin was here and I were to ask her, you know, how you been the last six years? How might she answer? Good. Did you get married? Yeah. How'd it go? Good. What'd you wear? Something nice. Who, who married you? Who will marry you? A priest. My God. No, I meant who, what man would marry you? Oh, <laughs> a man me. that looks like I'm this. <laughs> this man. <laughs> Brace is dressed for a wedding. Yeah, that's how dogs react to my real accent. You know what's interesting about you? Besides so many things. <laughs> Last time you were here, you wore a hat. This time you're wearing a hat, different hat. What are you covering up? No, you know what? It's that when I was a young guy, I always wore hats. And uh, one day, um, my father and I, God rest his soul, were going through the family album, and I saw a photo after photo. He was always wearing a hat, and I'd never seen him wear a hat before. And I said, I said, Papi, you, you wear hats? He goes, just like you. So it's just a thing. So oh, it just comes, na that, yeah, it just comes naturally to me. Why have I never heard you mention your dad before? Because at the time that we met, he was very, very ill. And it would always just bring me to tears. You are a crier. I am a crier. You know what else let's talk about that's also super depressing? What? AIDS. AIDS is depressing, but it's also very hopeful to speak about. The company that I'm supporting right now is uh, Bridging Access to Care. They have done so much for this borough, <laughs> and they are not recognized in the way that they should be. There's a lot of yes. people who are living with HIV and AIDS that do not have proper housing. And once they do get housing, they don't have anything to sleep on. And so Raymore and Flanagan is partnering with uh, Bridging Access to Care and, and providing furniture for people who are homeless and now get housing through this organization because there's, there's a homeless epidemic in the AIDS community that people do not like to speak about. They need a lot of help and they're lucky to have you, by the way. There's a gift in giving, there really is. And, 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 it, and it makes you feel uh, so much better as a person. You are getting the Humanitarian Award from Bridging Access to Care. That's amazing. Y you feel weird accepting a, an award like that, but... You know, right, the, what do you say? Here, let's practice it, it. Ready? And here is your Humanitarian Award, Rosie. I would say, um, in my acceptance speech, that AIDS is a serious issue, and the fight is not over. And we still got to keep the fight going until there's a cure. And in the meantime, we got to take care of those people uh, that are living with HIV and AIDS because they're just human beings just like us. And if you don't take care of them, she will come get you. That's right. Despite the I will hunt sweet, you down. She will get Whoa. you. She will cut you, okay? <laughs> Bitches on a stoop, yo. Bitches on a stoop. It's a new show. Right? I mean, what's taking us so long?